Welcome to zip9.com. In this video, ituturin natin yung ating series on addition of fractions, no? At uh, dito sa part na to ay uh, mag-add tayo ng mixed fractions. Kung napanood yung mga earlier videos natin ay meron na tayong addition of mixed fractions kung saan ang fractional parts nila ay uh, um, similar, no? Dito, ang pag-aaralan natin is paano ba mag-add ng mixed fractions kung saan ang fractional parts ay dissimilar. So, for example, we have 4, we have example 1, 4 and 1 third plus 5 and 1 fifth, no? So, napag-aralan na natin yung paano mag-add mag ng dissimilar fractions, no? So, ang ano nang dito, ang strategy is to add the, the numbers first, no? Ito yung pinakamadaling strategy, no? I-add yung muna yung numbers. So, magiging equal siya sa 9. And you add the fractional parts, no? So, 1 third plus 1 fifth, no? Ano LCD natin? Sorry, 1 fifth. Ano LCD nila, no? Uh, pwede natin kunin yung LCD by getting the multiples of 3 and 5, no? So, 3... Actually, pwede nyo na i-multiply yan, no? Pag wala kayong pwedeng i-divide, ang LCD na yan is yung product ng dalawa. So, ang LCD nila ay 15, no? So, 1 third equals blank over 15. Uh, kung napanood yung previous video, para makuha mo yung number dito, yung equivalent fractions ng 1 third, or equivalent fraction ng 1 third, we have 15 divided by 3, and then times 1. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1, 5, and 1 fifth. 15 divided by 5, 3 times 1 is 3. So, dito, pwede na natin siya i-equal to 5 over 15 plus 3 over 15, which is equal to 8 over 15. Pag-aralan na natin ito, no? Pag similar fractions, ibig sabihin pareho yung denominator. We just copy the denominator and then add the numerator. So, ang 1 third and 1 fifth, 8 over 15 siya. Ito yung sagot natin. 9 and 8 over 15. Number 2, we have 5 and 1 sixth plus 2 and 2 third plus 1 half or 1 1 eighth for example so again pwede natin pagsamahin yung uh, whole numbers so 5 plus 2 dito wala siyang whole numbers so 5 plus 2 is 7 and then we get the uh, LCM of 6, 3, and 8, no? So, ang multiples of 8, multiples of 8, oh, 6 muna tayo, unay muna natin tayo 6. We have, Para makuha natin yung LCM, kukunin muna natin yung multiples. No? May, may another way dito, no? pero mas gusto ko lang kayo masanay dito. Later, ituturo ko sa inyo paano yung uh, tamang, or pa, pa, paano yung another way. So, we have 6, we have uh, multiples of 6 is the product of 6 and the whole numbers. No? 6 times 1 is 6, uh, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, and then 24, and then uh, 30, 36. And multiples of 3, have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. And then multiples of 8, of 8. We have uh, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. So, ang unang number na makikita nyo yung common, no? yung pinakamalit na number na common, 
Yan yung LCM natin, ano? And I think, ang common dito ay 24, no? So, 24. Oh, sorry, hindi pa natin na nalalagay yung 24 dito. So, we have 24, 24. Usually, hindi yun naman kailangan to gawin lahat, no? Pag, pag sanay na kayo mag-compute, ako isang tingin lang, alam nyo na. Or may another strategy yan, ituturo ko later. Pwede nyo uh, matutunan. So, we have uh, 24. Yung ating LCM. So, gagawin natin ngayon is to change, katulad ng ginawa natin dito, to change uh, these fractions into fractions whose denominator is 24, no? So, 24, 1 sixth is equal to blank over 24. So, dinivide natin dito, i-divide natin, and then we multiply. 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 1, 4, no? Or another way to look at it also is 2 3rd at saka 24. Anong ginawa natin sa 3 para maging 24? Minultiply natin sa 8, diba? So, ibig sabihin, multiply din natin to sa 8. 16. That's one way of looking at it. Or, pwede rin, syempre, yung katulad kanina, 24 divided by 3 is 8 times 2, 16. 1, 8. We have 24. Anong ginawa natin sa 8 para maging 24 times 3? So, ito, magta times 3 times sa taas, no? So, ibig sabihin, yung 1, 1, 6 becomes 4 over 24, no? This becomes 4 over 24. Pag pinlas natin siya sa 2 third, which is 16 over 24. Ito naman yung 2 third natin. Yung 2 third lang, hindi kasama yung 2 dahil na, na divide na, or na times na natin. Sorry, na add na natin yung 2. Dito sa 7. So this is 16 over 24 plus yung 1 8 which is 3 over 24. So ito naman ay ito. No? So anong gagawin natin? Uh, similar fractions na sila. So copy the denominator and then add the numerators. So we have 4 plus 16 is 20 plus 3 is 23. 23 over 24. So ibig sabihin 7 and 23 over 24. Okay, so I think uh, okay na yung ating examples, no? So again, ang pinaka-strategy dito, ang pinaka-strategy dito sa addition of mixed fractions is to add the whole numbers first and then i-add nyo yung fractions separately and then combine them together pag natapos na. Okay, I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na ito. So kayong invite sa zipline.com para tignan yung ating list ng mga videos na pagkakasunod-sunod, no? Mas okay pag napanood nyo siya ng sunod-sunod. Okay naman kung nanonood kayo sa YouTube, pwede nyo uh, i-click yung ating subscribe button para every time meron tayong videos ay uh, may inform kayo via email. And of course, gusto ko rin kayong anyayahan na imbitahin ang mga kaibigan by sharing the videos, no? To your friends. Para matuto din sila, no? Okay, maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.